every day, everywhere, across New Zealand. From the smallest town to the biggest city. We have the finest tools. An expert advice for any job. For any person. Who are we? Who are we? Who are we? We are Nelson. Hamilton. Pukekohe. Rangiora. We are Tradezone. We are Tradezone. We are Tradezone. Tradezone. Proud to bring you Tradezone Addicted to Fishing. I'm Nikki Sindon, and since I could hold a handline, I have been addicted to fishing. Whether it's straylining for snapper, trolling for marlin, dropping deep for swordfish, or jumping in and going spearfishing, I love it all. week as I road trip around the country, travelling to both New Zealand's most iconic fishing destinations and stepping off the beaten track to show just how good Kiwi fishing really is. Whether it's a girls trip, fishing with a local or riding solo, I am on a constant quest to satisfy my insatiable fishing addiction. Welcome to Trade Zone Addicted to Fishing. This week we're starting off at the tip of the North Island, Cape Ranga. The destination today would have to be a personal favourite of mine. If you've fished there before, you know what I'm talking about when I say that Hobara is the snapper capital of New Zealand. We throw the GFAB trailer in the drink and we're off down the harbour. So we're here in Hobara. We've launched the boat, it's almost six o'clock at night, and I'm a little bit excited because every time that we do snapper fishing at night time into the dusk, it's always so much fun. You get the big ones come along, and you just get a chance to uh, see some really good fishing. So, change of life fishing, amazing. Yeah. Always amazing. Yeah. I think they come on the tube, and you get the tides and the moons and everything, right? Magical things can happen. They do. Now, we've got a pretty strong wind today. Uh, nothing dangerous, we would never go out in the boat if it was dangerous, but we do have a southwest, so we're going to tuck around um, the corner here and find a nice shallow spot and burly up a storm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea, Nikki. Going back to my roots. Oh, no, uh, straight lining fish is where I started, you know. Exactly. So same. I'm really excited to see what we can uh, what we can drag out of the shallows up here, because I hear that there's some thumper fish hanging around at the moment. Yeah, I'm so keen to get into that. Yeah, yeah. let's get them both. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Hammer down. See this stuff here? This is what brings all the fish to the yard. So we've got a bit of a reef behind us. We're only fishing about less than 10 metres of water. Probably head in a little bit if we need to, but at least it gives us enough water to really fight these big fish that I'm pretty sure are here. Any shallower and we could get reefs, but we'll do what we have to do to get the fish. I've got my old lucky, faithful rod and reel, my Thunnus 8000 with my Ocean Rose. That rod is seriously lucky, it's caught so many good fish. Okay, straight line fishing is where I started my fishing. It's like coming home for me, so I'm super excited about this. Now, I'm just going to start off with a one-hook straight line rig, where you have your hook at the bottom, and then your swivel up the top. Really simple. And the reason I'm starting off with a one-hook is we're in quite shallow water, and also it's quite reefy, so I find that using one hook, you tangle less. However, if I'm not quite hooking up, I'll go to two hooks. So I'm just going to start here. I'm just going to do a snail knot down the bottom or a modified uni knot or a long line knot. You can use one of those as well. And then just, I'm not going to use a weight um, and just tie the swivel at the top. Easy. Personally, I think nothing beats fishing for snapper with a bait runner. Whether you're casting, stray lining a bait out the back, or if you have a live bait out, it's a solid piece of kit in the fishing arsenal. Baby blue Mackies. The secret. Half hitch. Bait's best friend. Do it 
twice for good measure. Here we go. Delicious. Oh, <laughs> come on. Take it. Stop playing with it. <laughs> yeah, they do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, nice, Nikki. Nice hook up. Yoohoo! Target species. Target species. All right. Nice. Beautiful little fun old snapper. Oh. Do we have a rag anywhere? Thank you. Yeah. If you do wet hands, Nick, now, now Legacy is saying use um, wet hands instead of a wet rag. Oh, really? My hands are already wet. Yeah, yeah, cool. That's the one. Woohoo! Nice beautiful little fish here. Put him back into the ocean to fight another day. Yeah. Oh. Come on, Nikki. Get him in. After the break, we crack into some hard fighting fun or fish. Mandy and I are fishing in the stunning far north. We've launched from out of Hohora and we're trying our luck at targeting snapper in the evening. Australian line fishing or bait fishing is like grassroots fishing in New Zealand, eh, Nikki? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Uh, the difference with stray lining, or well, the key thing to remember with stray lining is you want your bait to drift naturally down past the fish. So it's not like when you use a dropper or leg jerig where you've got a sinker at the bottom and you're dropping it straight down. You actually want the bait to float naturally down along through the water column, down to the bottom to where the fish is. It looks more natural, so that's why I always say natural baits are the bomb. So I'm just letting this bait just drift, drift, drift down. I've got no weight on, and, and it makes it look more natural and more enticing to the fish. If it looks suspicious, it starts jumping around, or there's a big lump there, or, you know, it doesn't look natural, and there you go. Ooh, that was a nice little run. So I can tell I've got to the bottom in the drop zone. Yeah, he's up again. Often, the, because it's a bigger bait you're using, because we're using whole, what are these, whole mackies, the fish will bite it, swim away with it, and then swallow it. It takes a while to swallow, so you also need to let the fish run. That's what I learned when I first started fishing, upgrading from small fish to big fish when you're stray lining, is to let the fish run away with the bait and swallow it, and then set the hook. We're using circle hooks today, which is awesome. I, I only use circle hooks, they're my favorite, because when you release the fish, they have a much, much greater chance of surviving, and I think that's a cool thing. This feels like a bit of a dead weight. Could be a Johnny, although it'll be the heaviest Johnny I've ever felt. Might have got some weed or something, eh? Yeah, it could be a piece of weed, maybe. Piece of weed. Oh, e oh more eel. Oh. Twisty, slimy Those guys. little things. The more eel. They will twist themselves up the line if you give them the chance. These crazy things, eh? They sit in the rocks and they take your bait. See this button here? This is a cool design from the boys at Extreme. Press against this hand wash button with my knee and water comes out the side. Very cool design from the team at Extreme Boats. One of the best times for big snapper fishing is dusk and dawn. That's when the big snapper come out to have a good feed. And we're very lucky because this is almost sundown. Ooh, that looks Look like that. a good bait. That. That's a beautiful looking bait. I'm excited. That's a 20 <laughs> carbon snapper bait, bait like that. mate. That is beautiful. Through the backbone. Like you're sewing the bait on. Straight, nice straight baits. 
look more natural, more enticing. So for me, straight bait's a great mate. One of the things I really like about this overhead is most of my fishing career, short as it is, I've only been fishing 11 years, I use spin reels and I switched last summer to these overheads. The thing about overheads is I can feel everything. I can feel the line going down, I can control it going out. When I hook up, I use my thumb to control the spool, letting the line run out. With stray lining, you have so much control and feel with these overheads, eh? That's why I'm really enjoying them. Always go back to my thunnus as well, because that's just fun too, but today, I'm going hard. I'm going for the big one. Get him, man. Get it. Oh, get him. Yeah, right colour. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Ah, a little ducky. Nice dark one. Yeah. Oh, bugger. Swallow that. Yeah, mate. Swallow that one, so we'll take this guy home for dinner. He's an eater. He's a good eater. This fish has gone to the light, and now we're going to lay him on a nice bit of ice. Keep him nice and chilled. Good night. It's true, women can multitask. And I have my bait runner set up. I had a soft bait out. I caught this sweet little kahawai livey. And I throw them out as a live bait. A big snapper. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. You! Come on. Come on, Nikki. Give him up. Yeah, yeah, nice work. Good work. That was on the squid this time. Salty dog squid. Ew. The snapper we're catching yeah, here nice. tonight are very kelpy looking. Yeah. Just wet the hands. All right, mate. Unfortunately, even when using circle hooks, sometimes these hungry snapper swallow the hook down deep. Probably can't release this fish now because the hook was pretty far down its throat. But uh, that's cool. He's going to be my breakfast. Woo! Beautiful. Get it, man! Oh. The sun's about to tuck itself away. Barely starting to work. Even though it's messy conditions, our lines are going out the back, so that's good. You! Yeah, that's a bit better. They're getting bigger. Right in the corner of the mouth. Beautiful. And that's the beauty of these circle hooks. Right in the corner of the mouth. And this guy, he can go back. There we go. Nice and quick. Sweet! Getting bigger. They're getting bigger. Tackle tips and tactics brought to you by Smart Marine. Here we have the Black Magic Biodegradable Balloons. Now this is music to my ears because what it means is that when I'm out live baiting for kingfish or snapper or anything that I'm using my balloons for when it comes to fishing, I know that I've got Mother Nature's back by using biodegradable products. Now this also comes with five balloons and you get uh, a hassle-free rigging kit all included in there. It comes with the swivels and it's super easy. So head on down to your local Smart Marine store. For all your fishing needs, head on down to your local Smart Marine store. Uh oh, woohoo! Yes! Oh, Not there she is! Fish. After the break, our live bait gets attacked. Yeah. 
this week. We've left Hohora in search for Snapper, and we've just moved into shallower water of only four metres. Ooh, yep. Yeah, Nikki, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> just like you said, that change of light. Get him up. Change yeah, light. yeah. Get <laughs> his up, that's the one. It feels like he's coming towards the boat. Coming oh. to meet you. Oh, yes. That's one. What bait do you have on there? Uh, that one there was the salty dog pilchard. Oh, nice. Okay, that's working. Come on, mate. Yeah, yeah. Keep him up, because we're only in four metres of water, eh? <laughs> Listen to that bum Yeah, look, I'll get, get out of your way. I'm going to bring my bait in. Come on. Yes. Just keep playing him. Don't let him get you, Nicky. Keeping the rod real high. Yep, that's the one. Oh, oh it's no, a beauty! It's a <laughs> oh, no! All right, I, don't need that. I thought it might be. I didn't want to say the S word. I'll say it. Oh, Shit! Oh, no! The worst has happened. They are beautiful creatures, but I don't like to hook them, to be honest. Busted off. Probably not a bad thing. Oh, yeah, he's still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There you go, Nick, he'll be on. Get him on? Yep. Yeah. Come on, come on, that side. Can you please move the other rod, man? Yep. This rod? This yep. one? Yeah, yeah. Bring my line the snapper way. shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it yeah. looks like a good fish. You feel like a snapper? Ah, uh, yep. Who knows? We'll soon see. Because we're only in four metres of water, you know, snapper will swim up uh, to oh, grab the open. Yes! Oh, Not there she is! Fish. There she is! Yeah! <laughs> Awesome work, Nikki. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Snap to have snapper fish in. Yeah, that's cool. Woo. I've never actually caught a snapper on a balloon. At night time. At night time with a livey underneath it. Yep. That is so cool. Look at that. What a big, beautiful fish. Look at it. He wolfed it too. He wolfed yes. it down. That's awesome. That is so cool, dude. Under a balloon and four metres of water with a two metre trace on. The snappers swam up to grab the live bait. That is so cool. That's so cool. All right. Beautiful snapper. Took a livey underneath the balloon. It was about a metre and a half down below the balloon. Just hit nine o'clock at night. Ew. Ew. Not a bad fish. Whew. Get him back in. All right, let's put him back. Thanks, Mr. Snapper. You're going home. And three, two, one, go. That was a nice little run. Oh, that looks like a good one, man. Yeah, yeah. It's bigger than the other ones I had on. I'll get the net ready, eh? Yeah, sounds good, Nick. He's a noisy. He's a noisy. Come on, mate. Ah, oh, there we go. Got him. Nice, Nick. Thank you. That was a good fish, man. Yeah. Man. That was good. That was on half a sweep. Half a sweep, eh? Yeah. Wicked. Making the most of what we find in the Burley Trail, eh? So, I'm privileged to be an ambassador for Legacy, for their fish care program. And one of the things that new research has shown is that if a fish swallows a hook, if you just snip it off in the mouth and leave the hook in there rather than trying to get the hook out, that those fish actually have a really good survival rate. Better than if you try and, you know, wrangle the hook out because that's just really going to ruin really their just, insides. Yeah. yeah, really rough them up. So, what we'll do is we'll just snip this line Put the snapper back, and he's got a good chance of survival. Even with the hook in there? Even with the hook, I know it sounds random, eh? It does but... sound random, I just thought, well, but what? But I guess, I mean, hey, Legacy is backed up with a lot of research, so... Yeah, I read the research. Uh, it was research that was done in Australia, and the odds are, are pretty good. Okay, yeah. sweet. So, so we'll just snip it. it off here? Yep. Cool. And then we'll do the old release. Yeah. All right, buddy, let's get you back in the water, eh? All right. 
Come on. You, this is my lucky rod. My lucky ocean rose. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Come to mama. Ooh. Feels yeah. like a goodie. Come on, buddy. Yee-hoo-hoo-hoo! Yee-haw! Uh, uh, not a bad one. Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah, I yeah. feel sweet for going off, man. Awesome, Nat, good work. Woohoo! Yeah, wicked. Good fish, man. There's another ho hauler panty right there. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come down. Come on, Matt. Come on. Just hold him up to the camera and then we'll pop him back in the water, eh? Yeah, nice. What a beautiful condition on these fish. Hey. They just love it here. You can see that these are more of the moocher type snapper. These. You can see that these snapper are considered more of a moocher than a kelp because they've got that sort of browny, bronze colour to them. Whereas the snapper that are found over the sand, for example, they're a lot more silvery pink. Right, should we let this one go? Well, it's actually nearly midnight now. I think it's probably time to call it quits. Reluctantly. Yeah, I, I agree with that, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> what was the highlight of tonight for you? Oh, that snapper under the balloon on a live bait was sick. That, that was, was pretty special. awesome. Yeah, in four metres, man. That was awesome. That it's was cool wicked. It's fish, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. And I mean, we, we tried, you know, different things as well, you know? Yeah. The live bait um, sweep and catching the liveies out the back and butterfly yeah. them up. And ah, just a fun stray line session. Blue there. mackies, I love the blue mackies. Yes. Yeah, oh, cool. so did the snapper. Mm, yep. yep. Yeah, yep. nah, that was cool. So I hope that you've learned a little bit. I sure have. Yeah, I always do on the water. I always learn something yep. on the water. So that's it from us here at Trade Zone Addicted to Fishing. We'll see you again next week. Cheers to the legends at Le Baron's Cottage Retreat for having us while we were up in Hohora. Gear, Care and Catch, brought to you by Trade Zone. We're here at Trade Zone in Palmerston North. Let's go on and meet the team. Hey, Brendan. Hey, Nikki. What are you doing down in Palmerston? Well, actually, I wish I was fishing, but I'm not. I'm actually just doing a bit of maintenance on the shed. And um, I've got an angle grinder, and I'm looking for something to kind of help speed things up. Not really keen to do it by hand. Yep. Yeah. Well, what I'd recommend if you're stripping paint, that is a Norton Blaze Rapid Strip Disc. Perfect. This is ceramic, so it'll last longer, strip faster, um, and make a really tidy job. OK. Great, um, 125 mil? 125 mil. Sweet. Okay, I'll take this one, please. All right, we'll go to the counter. Okay, thanks. For all your engineering needs, head in store or order online at www.tradezone.co.nz. Check out our YouTube page for tips, tricks, and entire episodes of every season. And like us on Facebook to keep up to date with competitions and all your fishing news. Trade Zone Addicted to Fishing is proud to be with Extreme Boats. Powered by Honda Marine, we tow it around in our custom built G Fab trailer on the back of our Mercedes Benz V6. Smart Marine supply us with our Shimano tackle and we find the best fishing spots with our Raymarine. We move in precision thanks to Seastar and maintain our gear using Teng Tools. We keep up to date thanks to New Zealand Fishing News Magazine and it all keeps performing thanks to Trade Zone.